Hello everyone, this is Amy um, for Living by Faith with Amy. I'm not as upbeat as I usually am. I'm going through some stuff and I've just come out to my Thursday night appointment and I left the house very emotional and I'm trying not to get emotional again, but I'm going to plow through it because that's part of being who I am. I will literally just find every ounce of strength within myself so I'm going through some stuff and it's caused by other people and I won't go into it because there is literally no point because people find a way to turn it on me every single time I try and it sucks but let's just say I am constantly lied to and these this individual never tells me the truth they always lie and I just just after a while you become so confused because you don't you gaslight yourself and you think to yourself hey, am i the problem like why do they continuously lie to me and if you know what my situation is please don't comment it i'm asking you politely not to do that so i i was driving along so if you know burton you've got st peter's bridge um and then you've got the other one as the old bridge i believe it's called so i was driving on the old bridge and there's traffic both sides it's like really and i'm sat there at the light like in this traffic crying and i just had tears streaming down my face i couldn't stop and i'm trying to hold back these tears and that's why i'm finding it so difficult this is being a christian and being vulnerable okay and this guy was in the car like to the right of me and he caught i caught his attention obviously and he went it's okay well oh, that were it and i just said thank you and they get to the police station in burton and the traffic both sides again and there's this other guy in his car and he just went like that at me and smiled and it was just somebody being that kind and i feel rough as anything today i just feel horrible in myself so i pulled up here and i and i wrote into google what is a bible verse for worthlessness and i found matthew um six and it's verse 25 and it says do not worry therefore i tell you do not worry about your life what you will eat eat or drink or about your body what you will wear is not life more than food and the body more than clothes look at the birds of the air they do not sow or reap or store away in barns and yet your heavenly father feeds them are you not much more valuable than them can any one of you be wor by worrying at a single hour to your life and i just crumbled in that moment because previous me pre-christian i would have fought back i would have screamed i would have been that exhausted sounded like a uh, gunshot but okay i would have been angry i would have screamed i would have eff and jeffed if you will and it's really hard as a christian and I'm going to use some clickbait name like what I hate about being a Christian because I hate that I can't be angry. That I can't fight back. That I have to remain calm and composed. I want to do the dirty back. I want to be angry back. Because I have been. I used to be. But I've learned from it. But sometimes you don't want to. Why does this crap have to happen to me? I ask myself this all the time. Why do Christians go through the most? Because people take us for granted. People think, though, she's all right. She's only, you know, she, she, she won't get angry. So I can treat her like this. And I feel angry. And I'm supposed to forgive. But how many times can you realistically forgive a person that keeps making the same mistake again and again and again? That keeps lying to you again and again and again? How can you forgive a person? You can't. 
you do in time, but in that moment, you physically can't because by forgiving them, you'll do it, they'll do it again. So you're giving them the green light to repeat that behavior. And it sucks. And then when you talk about it and you say something about it and you say, you know, this isn't okay. And you speak out the people that you call the flying monkeys. I mean, I'm talking about like narcissistic um, sort of people that, you know, that have got like people called flying monkeys. They're the people that back them no matter what. They could have literally done a, a mass murder and they will literally back them regardless but they mustn't have, they must have been pushed to do it rather than just accept that they're a shitty person. Excuse me. I, I just, sometimes I'll let a curse word slip. I apologize. But sometimes, regardless, you that are going through it will always be the one that's blamed. And that sucks. It really sucks. So, my biggest piece of advice to you, if you need to be mad, you can film yourself being mad in the car, you can have a rant about it. Write it in a diary, I highly recommend that, because I, I have a diary. Talk to people. If they tell, if people are like, don't talk to people about it, Keep your problems in closed doors. Don't do that. Single most hand, the worst thing you'll ever do is keep it to yourself. Ignore those kinds of people because they're scared. They're scared of the truth getting out so that their perfect posture, their perfectness is shattered. But no one's perfect because we're all sinners. But I'm tired of reaching for something that I sometimes can't do. So like I said, sometimes I don't I don't want to be calm and peaceful. I want to scream at them and be like, why are you like this? Why are you like this? Why don't you want to better yourself? Why do you constantly continue to stick in the same patterns that you know are hurting other people because of your selfish behavior. Why is that not okay? And when I tell you how I feel, you turn it on me. How is that okay? How is that okay? It's not okay. So that's how I feel. And I just wanted to talk about it without talking about it. But why do bad things always happen to people that are just trying to do good i just can't get my head around it and to the two individuals this evening that drove past me and literally made me feel better thank you because before this video i was crying my eyes out that's why i'm a bit puffy but realistically what can i do i can't i can't do anything about this i have to to let take a step back and remember that I can't fix people and that God's got me because I'm watching every element of myself slip away and God's like it's okay I've got you it says it in here that he's got our back always we just got to ask but I have asked and now I'm being shown the painful part of asking the truth being shown you asked this is what you need to know. So, yeah. That's all I've got to say on that. But anyways, thank you for watching. All the best. God bless. And I'll see you soon. Take care.